India has numerous places with great beaches. Yet Goa holds its head high among all of them. So this time, we packed our bags for Goa. I am Sucheta Deshpande, blogger for my channel Travelicious Life, and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel platform. Goa is around 424 kilometers from Pune by car, and you can reach within 8 hours 30 minutes or so. Various train options also available from Pune, Mumbai, and major metro cities. And you can definitely minimize your journey by flight as well from Pune, Mumbai, and major cities. So we started our journey by car from Pune, Satara, Karad, Kolhapur, Nipani, Amboli Ghat via Highway 66 and Kalangu, and it was an awesome journey, guys. Although people visit Goa throughout the year, but the best season to visit is from November to February, I would say. It's visited by large number of international and domestic tourists each year because of its white sand beaches, active nightlife, places of worship, and World Heritage listed architecture. So we checked in at Charleston Beach Resort located on Kalangu Beach. It's one of the best resort. I would say in Kalangu. It started in 1986, and uh, it's family-run resort surrounded by lush green gardens, situated bang on the golden sweeping sand of Kalangu Beach. It's uh, centrally located with cottages and deluxe rooms. The resort also has multi-cuisine beachside restaurant, which serves a good choice of international and local options. It serves breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, of course, cocktails and drinks. I personally enjoyed at uh, this beachside restaurant where we had a lot of videos and reels, and it was worth it, guys. Evening, we visited Saint Anthony's located on Baga Beach. It's a beachside restaurant, and it serves seafood, beer, local Goan food. Alongside North Indian and Chinese uh, food, it's a beachside perfect restaurant, I would say. You can definitely enjoy sunset over here, and the evening becomes alive to sweet sound of music, live bands, karaoke nights. So it's a perfect evening for everyone. Next morning, we enjoyed visiting Kalangu Beach. Water was so clean and clear. So many people visited here, but no litter anywhere. I was really happy to see that. It said somewhere, salt water heals everything. The beach is my happy place. I feel happy, peaceful, and calm. Next day we visited Old Goa and Panjim side overlooking the gently flowing Mandvi river Panjim is Goa's capital as well as heart it is unique with lively events wonderful streets portuguese colonial era buildings and lush acacia and trees backlogging tourists from far and wide the basilica bom jesus church or saint javier's church is located in old goa The iconic church is pilgrimage center and recognized by UNESCO as a world heritage site. The church is one of the oldest in Goa and in India. The floor is marble with precious stones. The body of Francis Xavier was first taken into Portuguese Malacca and 2 years later shipped back to Goa. It is said that Sans body was as fresh as the day it was buried. The remains of the saint still attract huge number of tourists from all over the world especially during the public viewing of his body every 10 years Our next stop was Fountain Hands located in Panji Fountain Hands is Panjim's Latin quarter and is also known for its narrow lanes 
colorful Portuguese villas with balconies, red tiled roofs, traditional Goan eateries, bakeries, and small cafes. The Bagatek Bar and Restaurant features a modern yet cozy design with wooden flooring and large windows overlooking the streets of Baga. It was so wonderful experience. You can also visit a restaurant called as Vaddo 15. They have a beautiful ambience. It's located at Kandalim. Liquor prices in Goa are lower compared to other states of India due to availability of uh, raw material. And you can also buy cashews and other dry fruits here. Goa's Mario Miranda Gallery is famous for t-shirts, souvenirs, paintings. Travel takes us out of our comfort zone and inspires us to do new things, face new challenges. And it also helps us to explore the new surroundings. That's why I love traveling. Life is short and the world is wide. Better to get started now only. So start your journey with single step. This is how we had our memorable trip to Goa and I hope you will also plan your trip soon. I request you to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Travelicious Life. Thank you.